Mr. John Milligan. Well, thank you, Patrick, and, and good evening to everybody. Um, as Patrick noted, it is my honor to serve as the chairman of the board of the Center for Discovery, an organization, in my opinion, that without a doubt is one of the most innovative and highly effective not-for-profit organizations in our country. As most of you know, the center provides advanced care to children and adults with multiple and highly complex medical conditions, including now, which is one of the most prevalent problems in our children, autism. We're conducting groundbreaking research in collaboration with some of the top universities in the country, and as such, we're developing innovative new models of care almost on a daily basis. The center is truly providing leadership in this field during a time of enormous transformation with our health care situation. Um, the center has embarked upon unprecedented levels of public-private partnerships that have brought external resources to enhance our work and to distinguish us from any other organization caring for those with special needs. Not only is the center nationally recognized for its standard of excellence and high quality care, but it's very important to note that this care is available to individuals and families from a variety of socioeconomic groups and circumstances, including individuals from across a wide region of the Mid-Hudson Valley, New York metropolitan area, including every borough in New York City. Joining me in this wonderful endeavor is a group of extremely dedicated board members. It's my honor to serve with them, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce a number of them to you this evening. I'd first like to introduce Ellen Alamany, last year's honoree. Ellen set all kinds of records of support for the center. She just has announced after 37 years her retirement from the banking field and we wish her great luck. And we're gonna, she doesn't really know this, but we're gonna pull her into the center a lot more. So um, Ellen, beware. Um, Nellie Bly Araghetti, who along, who along with her husband Michael, who's seated next to her, were the honorees in 2010. They've generously chaired our Big Barn dinner on an annual basis, and they made the Big Barn possible through their great donations. <laughs> Film producer, namesake of the Karis Institute, generous benefactor, a professional dancer, Janet Karras. Joel Foreman, renowned attorney, who is joined. This never works, it just keeps on clapping. Um, joined by our 2011 honoree, the incomparable Monica Foreman. Longtime board trustee, family member, respected educator, Nancy McElroy. Nancy, there she is. The ever popular Emmy nominated actor, Aidan Quinn. Ed Sweeney, who's a partner at A.E. Smith Associates. Ed is our newest board member, and he has introduced us to a fabulous group of New York supporters, and we thank him for that. <laughs> Dr. George Todd, who's chairman of the Department of Surgery at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital, and you'll hear a little bit later why he's a major reason for this event happening this evening. Our investment committee chair, Art Thompson, who along with his wife, Denise, 
who along with his wife Denise um, and their son Grant, and they are the visionaries behind our Children's Assessment Center and the Specialty Hospital, which is coming very soon. In my opinion, the Center for Discovery is a, remarkable, a very remarkable community that is first and foremost made up of incredible residents and students who inspire us, their parents and families, many of whom are here with us this evening, who are our partners and, believe me, fierce advocates to make us better, and a dedicated and talented group of administrators and employees, some 1,500 strong. Now, obviously tonight is not possible, this just doesn't happen, without the hard work of some very, very dedicated individuals. And I'd especially like to thank our two benefit co-chairs, whose hard work, talent, professionalism, leadership, and friendship have raised this event to new levels. And that's Monica Foreman and Randy Pom Pomerantz. Our community continues to grow, and it expands, and it evolves for future generations. And recently, this has evolved into the formation of a sibling group, and they call themselves the Discovery Circle. These are people, this, this group is made up of brothers and sisters, families and friends of the center, Many of them here are they're here tonight. They're wearing their Discovery Circle buttons. And I hope you all have the opportunity to visit their kiosk tonight and learn more about their efforts, which includes their goal to create a universal treehouse that will be fully wheelchair accessible, located on the grounds of the center, and a place that everyone, all of us, and everyone can enjoy for generations to come. I would really like them to stand. A very, very special group. Well, tonight you're in for a special treat. You will hear about an extraordinary man of great intellect, heart, and compassion. You'll hear the incredible story about what happens when such a man, truly one of America's great generation, greatest generation, comes together with a highly innovative and visionary organization such as the Center. And as you'll see tonight, the results of this incredible partnership are deeply inspiring and really nothing short of magical with the power to transform lives. One of my most inspiring days at the Center for Discovery, and believe me, there have been many, came several weeks ago when I attended a reception bringing together our honoree, Walter Scher, his beautiful and loving family, the administration of the Center, along with a large number of employees, some of whom you'll meet tonight, who have benefited from Walter's sincere generosity. So we look forward to sharing his story with you tonight. So let's get to the main purpose of the event and introduce our honoree. But before we do that, I think the best person to introduce Walter Scher is my good friend, fellow board member, George Tutt. I'm not ready for you yet. Um, <laughs> George is um, one of New York City's most sought after surgeons. As chairman of surgery at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital, he has cared for and saved thousands of people over the years in the highly specialized field of vascular surgery. Many of those people whose lives he saved as their trusted physician have wanted to show their appreciation back to George. These are wonderful people, and believe it or not, George mentions the Center for Discovery. So I'd like to invite him up now to introduce you to the incredible story of our honoree tonight, Walter Scher. Please welcome George Todd. Thank you. 